Hello there, I'm Alger Hill, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Monks and Mystics. We are playing with King Gardelfair the Drunkard, unfortunately. Even though I'm not actually a drunk anymore. What? Also, I'm a homosexual. That's fine. We're going to try and basically rule all of Scandinavia. I had to remember to turn my light off for this one. We are actually very good. We have absolutely terrible stewardship. We basically just don't care about anything. With regards to money, we just want to raid and kill. Now, we are actually the heir of Hrothor de Nidoros. Actually, the heir of that glorious, glorious uh, society, the Fellowship of Hell. And we are getting a little older now. We're 32. We need to make sure we try and stay alive because we do not want to die. And we also want to make sure our kid will survive long enough. I mean, that's the hope, anyway. Uh, we have 869 dark power. We get 15, 16, 17, 18, 20 dark power per month, which is crazy. We need 2,000 to get up the Trulomada, which allows us to absorb life force. Oh, yes. And also in holy impregnate people. So we're going to definitely want to try and do that. Uh, we're also going to want to attempt to maybe try and get some concubines to get some more children. That would be cool. Uh, that's my wife, so I can't really do that. She's pretty cool. We like each other a lot. Hafri, my spy master. Oh, yes, yeah, she's got to take... I'm going to take her as a concubine. We need to make sure we can try and get a couple uh, extra kids. Okay, we are very powerful at this point. We own all the Svifjord, all of the Swedens. Uh, we're going to allow our manpower to kind of reclaim a little bit. Uh, we've made, we've managed to get Upland as our proper capital, which is fantastic. I'd really like to try and raid and build another tribal holding, which would be really nice. Only, oh, only one tribe. Oh, I can't build another tribal holding because I need to be feudal to be able to build more. That's okay. I can build another temple or something. Wait, oh, they don't really give me any levies though. But they give me a little bit of ducats. Oh, baby. Oh, man. Yeah, look at the ducats you get from tribal. Oh, temple eight ducats. Delicious. So we're going to attempt to um, basically... Well, I'll, Ideally, I want to try and make some, do some raiding. Well, I, I should make this my crown focus as well. So let's actually just wait a little while, and then we're going to get some troops together and go raiding again. And I think what we should also try and do is to actually try and attempt to invade these various people. So we actually have the chief of Vestfold right here. I mean, will he be vassalized? He will not. So, I, unfortunately, I cannot... T oh, I'm a truce breaker. Oh, really? Why am I a truce breaker? What? Why am I a truce breaker? Ends in 1915. Okay, well, that's fine. So, I, I want to attempt to try and start conquering all around Scandinavia and perhaps around the world, indeed. Uh, so, there's also Gilland. So, I could actually take... Jiland itself. This is actually the This is actually claiming the ducal title, the petty kingdom of Jiland. So this would actually be great. And this is actually my vassal. So I've actually got a vassal here. He's fantastic. He actually likes me quite a bit. He's got a lot of really strong claims. Uh, and he's actually the Count of Verend. And interestingly enough, he is actually the heir to this throne. Huh. Can I murder him, please? Be a lot easier and killing him. The Yaldum of Smarland will actually pass away to Stein Gadolfsson. What? Why? Oh, because it will go to Stein. That's okay. I'm just, that's because I'm going to support Stein. Who's my brother? My brother is my heir. He's Angramar. And he's actually the captain of the Gothlander band. He's also possessed as hell and brawny. I wouldn't mind him being the heir. But to be honest, I'd rather my kid be the heir. So let's actually put my kid as my heir. So we're going to nominate. Wow, he's got a lot of supporters. Holy shit. That's a lot of supporters. We may need to kill him, but that's okay. We also have Count Schlobby of Schlab, Schlab, Schlab. The Petty Kingdom of Shyland. But that's okay. Ah, now is this actually a? This is still actually a dukedom. It's a petty kingdom, and because it's a petty kingdom, we could actually invite a claimant and grant him a county, and then he would actually get the. We could press his claim. That's probably going to be a lot smarter. However, it would actually be really nice if I could actually get this as a province. So what I might do is I'll actually just fabricate the claim. Onto Shyland. Um, now this guy, as soon as he dies, he will actually. I will actually get everything. I can't paint to touch him because... Huh, so I have to be at war with him. Or he has to be my foe. Can I can I get him to be... To, like, stop being a douche? So I can actually just declare war on him straight away. Unfortunately, I'm employed to kill him, but to be honest, I don't think it's going to work. 
Because he's hide. Yeah, he's hiding. That's not going to work. It's okay. That's okay. But killing him is going to be a very good idea. He will not be. He will not be vassalized. Wait, do I already have a plot? Oh no, he's got a plot. To kill Eric out of vain. Whoa! He's trying to kill my vassal. You son of a bitch! I think we should just declare war on him. Frankly, I say we just declare war on him. Let's wait a month, and then we're just going to declare war. So I can also place a couple ch uh, easy claims. For a county. I can also press uh, Galera. The Duchy of Galera, really? Huh. What the hell is the Duchy of Galera? Why do I have a claim on the Duchy of Galera? Why do you have a claim on the Duchy of Galera? Well, I'm not going to fight the bloody Holy Roman Empire, am I? Even if the, uh, even if the, the ruler is actually a child. <laughs> Wow, they're, they're going to have some big rebellions. I'm going to wait just one month. Okay. So how many troops can I raise? I can raise 1.79. He can raise not as many. And I will also get my vassals to help me. Right, well, this is... This is not on. This is just not on. Lots of people trying to kill a lot of people. Okay, you cannot just back the plot to kill my own man, Chief of Moore. Come on. Stop it. Stop it. Can I recruit you to the Fellowship of Hell? Oh, bloody hell. Is he joining this plot? Oh, for God's sake. My court physician? Why are you trying to kill my court physician? He's good. Just leave him alone. Leave him alone. Alright, let's declare war, let's do this. We're gonna kick some ass. We're gonna claim we're gonna claim the Duchy of Jailand for ourselves, or for our ally even. We're gonna call in all our allies. Let's go, man. Excellent. This guy, look at this guy, a powerful vassal, booty of Herodjain. This guy is cool, scarred, one eye, look at that portrait with an eye over it. A craven, possessed, stressed man, he's not long for this world. We have Ketil the Chest, Lo loads of possessed people. Some people are not joining the war, but most people are. That's fine. I can also arrest Elizabeth. Hmm. She's, a, she's one of my seeresses. Why is she a seeress? She's my bastard sister. Half sister. Well, let's hope she doesn't try and kill any. Yes, yes, yes. We're not going to join the wars. Meaning of animation, I only cautiously question the absolute power of the almighty Odin, but no, and no one wants to join. That's fine. We actually do have a few prisoners. I do actually have a couple prisoners now that I could actually sacrifice. Am I under suspicion? I'm highly suspicious. Okay, so I'm highly suspicious, so I don't want to do any sacrifices until it is absolutely clear. Oh, I spend a lot of time outside training my hunting dog. You feel the combination of daily physical exercise and fresh air are wonders, so I gain the trick diligent for some reason. That's fine. Excellent. I love this feature. Is I think this might be new in this in this in this expansion. The ability to order them to attach to my armies. I love it. Bring it on, asshole. Okay, so we actually don't really have very many um, very many actual commanders. Let's actually go to the commanders. So I have five commanders available. Ridiculous. Let's actually get some commanders going. Oh god, you guys are terrible. I should probably try and get some uh, some Heardmans. Who actually likes me the most? So this guy, my Chancellor, he loves me. He's a master schemer. Having him as a Heardman makes, like, I think that makes a, that paints a nice story. Let's see, who else actually loves me? We have a very old man with zero <laughs> martial skill. Who's an infer. This guy is 19 right now. Holy shit, that's amazing. Cool. Why can't I... Ah, oh, it's because he's training troops. 
Can I? Why can't I make my my marshal my commander? For God's sake! I want him to lead. Right, Hakon, my vassal, my commander. My wife will lead the right flank. My left flank will be led by Aker. I will not be a part of this. I will go into hiding. Why can I go into hiding? I'm not a fan of this. Why do I keep, like, forgetting, like, coming off of me? That's very strange. Just stick with me, for God's sake. Ah! There's a defensive pact. What's our threat right now? It's 8%. Oh, no. So we do have a few... That's okay. This is why they're going to win. They're not going to win this war. We're fine. Where's their army? There's no one else here. Where the hell did they go? Okay. Bye, then. Oh, my wife is pregnant. That's good. Easy enough. Uh, invite to plot to kill Baldit. No! Why do we want to kill him? He's a lovely chap. Go away. I don't understand why I'd want to kill my loyal court physician. Just attack this as well. There we are. There's a lot of people joining a defensive pact. Oh, I'm getting the straight stress. Damn. I hate the trait stress. Right. Uh, my son, Stein, the heir, he needs a focus. He needs martial focus so he can be a warrior. Excellent. The great money hell has given us so much. Now it's time for the also a gift in return. Hell creates a soul to serve them. Capture and sacrifice a virgin. Absolutely. So I actually gain the ability to abduct a virgin. Let me see. Do I have any rivals? I do have a rival. Does he have any children? He does not. This guy hates me. Holy shit. Whoa! You're going, to, you're going to jail. Holy fuck. Don't be a douchebag, man. Why do you hate me so much? Alright, so I need to capture and sacrifice a virgin. Which of my vassals hate me the most? Chief of Munso. He's got no children. That's fine. This guy. Let's duck. Let's duck the air. Yeah, yeah, I've lost the, the, the trait stress. Excellent for some for some reason. I've just lost it. I'm fine with that. Kill. Hood. I wish I could click this. Oh, it does. <gasps> you can click it. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Okay, so who, who is this guy? Who can I imprison? So he hates me. Uh, a child of a concubine. Yeah, okay. Where's his other territories? We'll put our armies there, and then we'll just we'll attack him. Easy enough. My fellow's in for me. He's gonna. Okay, cool. We're gonna attack him. All right, we've got him. And we're just gonna. Uh, I'm gonna wait a couple months first. I'd like to wait a little bit. No, I, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just. Let's, let's just. Let's just Let's just sacrifice him to hell. Yes, sacrifice a virgin. Because he was a baby. He was 14 years old. 100 dark power. There it is. Hopefully people don't find out about me. Hey, the defensive pack's been disbanded. I have a new daughter. A quick daughter who's a bit sickly, unfortunately. That's okay. She can have thrift. Ah, oh, you must attempt to save her. Wait, what? How have we not won this already? We've, we've taken everything you own. What? Unsuccessful. Damn. She's lethargic. Oh, there he is! Oh my god! He walked around the freaking sea to try and flank me into my capital. You son of a bitch. Go.
Get him, boys. I don't want to lead the fight. I'm too... Ah, look, direct leader. Here we go. Hakon can lead the center. Nice. Oh, right, there we go. One big battle. And there it is! Jard Akar the Usurper. Excellent. Oh, look at that. We are strong right now. Oh my goodness. Ridiculous. Okay, we also have a weak claim on this douchey. I don't really care about that, to be honest. We are very strong. Oh, wow. Petty... King of Hoys? What? That's Jorvik. Why does it say Hoys then? Very strange. Hvitsuk. Oh. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Hvitsuk. That's fine. Uh, King Halfdan died. He vanished without a trace like 20 years ago. Wow. Haven't really been paying attention to the, the douches here. Duchies. Oh, what happened to the Wessexians? The county of Wessex. It. Uh, Alfred the Wise died of cancer. Well then. He died of cancer. Did pretty well for himself, but he appears to have lost his throne. Well, that's the that end in that story. All right, let's go and prison this guy. All right. Oh no, he's stopped the plot. That's fine then. Good for you. I'm proud of you. Introduce the heir to the realm. Let's do it. Partake in formal introductions. Let's see what happens. My glorious, glorious son. He's renowned... Go this man, Gida Gunhilda, my vassal. Uh, renowned, godly, and learned vassal. He's willing to spend some time teaching him on the more intricate parts of the sagas. Hey, gain a learning and piety. Awesome. Beautiful. Uh, he he presents a great manage to impress her. Excellent. Because he can... This, is actually, this actually can be quite dangerous because the kid can get stressed. Oh, and insults all of his ancestors. Oh, good. That's fine. He's a bit of a dickhead anyway. I can create quite a few titles now. Renowned fighter and tactician. Oh, he's willing to train him. Yes. For a favor. Done. Extra martial score. My kid's going to be amazing. Nice. He looks relieved. He's exhausted for the malice for having introduced himself. He hopefully serve him well in the future. Extra prestige and vast means. The thing is, this is actually really good because it actually gives him 20 years of 0.5 monthly. Basically gives him 6 prestige a year. So he gets 120 prestige for free. I mean, he already gets a little bit because of his diplomacy. But it means he actually does come into the crown with having a good amount of prestige. At the moment, there's basically very few people who actually want to support my, my son. But as he gets more, as he gets older, he will start to get more votes. That's good. There is unfortunately a very large defensive pact forming around me. That's okay. Uh, we are actually making an absolute immensity of delightful, delightful stuff. I can also do dark healing. Can I heal myself? I could actually heal myself of my various injury, my one-leggedness, and regrow my leg. That could be fun. I kind of like being one-legged, though. I kind of like it. If I, if I get a disease, that might be better. Now, my bear, my, my bear, the bear, my brother, is really awesome. So I do want to keep him around. But if he starts to threaten my uh, my crown, it's going to be a problem. My lunatic brother as well. Tim to kill Baldir. Leader Scully's host. Uh, he can stay alive for now. He's a cool adventurer. This one, however, my half-sister. I'm going to try and impregnate her. But, like, force her to be an impreg impregnated. Like, if you see what I mean. I'm going to, like, try and get her to be, like... The because uh, the last power for secret society is unholy impregnation. So if it can spawn the, the like the a servant of Satan or something. There's a lot of people jo joining these defensive packs because uh, we're getting quite a bit. There we go. People are leaving. His opinion that he would make an excellent military commander. Uh, yeah, man, go ahead. I don't really care. I would like to sacrifice these people. But unfortunately, it's going to take too long to do so. So they, I can't any, get any gold from Odir. How about from Falki? I can get the 70 gold from Falki. So I can, I, I'm willing to, to ransom him. I'm willing to ransom you because you can pay for it. But at the moment, no one else can pay for it. Um, 
I feel like kind of getting a practice range might be a good idea because more archers are good. But perhaps just getting more infantry in general. So build a war camp. It only costs us 300 prestige as well. It's not too bad. Now I'm trying to get a claim on Shylands, which is the plan. Probably hell. He owns a lot of places, doesn't he? It's going to be an interesting battle when we eventually do fight it. Now, who are you? Evenar the Strange. Interesting. Well, unfortunately, I will not be able to act. I, I'll be supplanting him, but he won't become mine. Hmm. Perhaps I should try and grab individual counties around me. So this guy, for example, is actually very powerful. Of Sakatuna. If I declared war on him, I could start grabbing individual provinces. Especially his main capital. That could be interesting. We'll have to find out in the next episode, guys. It's been really well, going really well, and I'm really enjoying the series and really enjoying so many new people coming to the channel. So I really appreciate you guys. Please do give me a rate and a comment and let me know what you think of the channel. Holy crap, we actually have the first king in England, and he is a Christian king of Wales. Vinatharon, basically like a whatever that is, but basically a Welsh king. That's pretty fascinating. So we'll look at that in the next episode. So I was Algernon, continue to be. This has been Christian Kings 2 Monks and Mystics. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.